Hi guys, Ursa Dia here, and I'm back with another K-pop reaction video. Today I'm going to be reacting to Twice's More and More, and I'm super excited. The song has actually been out for about a week now, but I didn't react to it sooner just because when it was released was when the whole Black Lives Matters, like the protests and everything started happening and so I didn't really want to post any content around that time because I wanted to focus on helping support that cause and so I'm finally taking the time since it's been about a week and um, I figured now is about as good of a time as any to kind of react to it. So here I am. I'm excited. I haven't seen much of this. I've seen that they're wearing summery outfits, but it is like a comeback that's like spring summer, so it kind of makes sense. So I'm excited to see what they have brought to us. You know I love my Twice Girls, so let's get into it. I like how it already seems kind of like magical, just like the scenery that they're in. It already has like a nice good beat to it. Oh, they're also pretty. Ooh. No one wants it. Okay, that took a slight turn that I was not expecting. I like the choreography, how they're like in a diamond shape. It has a really good sound to it so far. I can already tell this is gonna get stuck in my head. Oh, I'm so excited to talk about the concept of this at the end. <laughs> Ooh, this has a really good vibe to it. I like their outfits. Like, they always have really good outfits, but these ones are really cute. Sana's hair being like orange, it looks really cute on her. The chorus definitely reminds me of like their older, like really catchy songs. That's cool. I really like this side uh, piece. Oh, okay. I was not expecting a dance break like this. I figured like Momo might have a dance break, but this is much more hardcore than I expected. Ooh. I like the like dance break going into like this harder rap style. The dance looks very interesting. 
I don't know how I feel about it. It's very like twice esque. More. That was very interesting. Huh. Okay, so right off the bat, there are like so many things that I like want to touch upon. Like, the song itself I thought was actually like really interesting because the chorus with like the repetition of saying more, 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 and that kind of reminded me of like their older songs where like it would just be like really catchy and repetitive and kind of get stuck in your head. And I feel like they recently been kind of like straying away from that so I thought it was interesting to kind of see this come back in the song but at the same time this had a much more mature concept than their like catchy songs from like back when they first debuted so I thought that was really really interesting I thought they did a really good job of like making it slightly more mature but still keeping to their kind of like fresh and like kind of cuter vibe so I really, really enjoyed that. The dance break into the rap part, I was so not expecting. I mentioned that like I kind of figured like Momo might have a dance break because Momo typically has a dance break, but like I wasn't expecting like the full group to go into like a really like heavy beat like dance break that was like completely like 180 from like the rest of the song, going straight into that like harder rap um so I was like very very impressed by that I thought it sounded really really great and it was a really nice element of surprise so 10 out of 10 for that I really enjoyed that and other than that the song itself I thought was really really good like their vocals were very stable um I really didn't have one part that I didn't like of it um I thought it sounded really good um, right off the bat, it had a really nice beat to it, so I think that really helped going into it that the, throughout the entire song, right off the bat, I was able to kind of like nod along and kind of jam to it, so I really enjoyed that. Then I kind of I kind of want to touch upon just the whole concept of it, like right off the bat, like they were like in these nature scenes that you can tell aren't real, but they kind of look almost fantasy esque. And they're all dressed in like these like pretty kind of like flowing gowns and dresses and they all just look very other real and like I was thinking like oh are we going for like a more like fantasy type thing and then they showed a snake on a tree and then it turned like red and I immediately knew like oh is this gonna be like a Garden of Eden type concept and it was, and you can tell that by like how they had like the apples and they were all picking the apples and then even at the very end they showed the apple falling from their hand and there was like a bite mark in it. So I thought that was like a really interesting way to take this song that is kind of like their summertime freshness song that they typically release but then like slightly more mature so I thought that was like a really good concept to be like oh here are these very pretty like summery like naturey scenes and stuff but then we're gonna make it a little bit dark by adding like this like kind of con like kind of like religious subtext in a way um but not just like any religious subtext but literally like Adam and Eve's fall from the Garden of Eden. So I thought that was like very interesting concept to bring into the music video. And it's something that personally as a literary major I love. I love being able to see like a music video and think like oh it's just gonna be like another music video of them just in fancy scenes like singing the song and then like a couple of close-ups and them dancing and stuff but I love when they throw in just like tiny little like stories like this even if they're like stories that are already done like it's really interesting to like stop and analyze it and yet again it could just be like the literary person in me um but I especially just 
love like kind of analyzing it from like that perspective and just seeing how they take like such a well-known story and kind of work it into their own music video so I really really enjoyed that especially like the whole like Garden of Eden type thing like it's not like I feel like religious things are done a lot but not necessarily in like for like a group who's known for like more like cuter things so I thought that was like kind of interesting and in the way that they did it to show that they were like a bit more mature than how they were like years ago I think that's kind of interesting or at least that's the way that I'm kind of like interpreting it as like yeah they still have that like fresh vibe to them but they are more mature because they are all adults at this point so I thought that it was kind of interesting that like them representing like Adam and Eve's fall from like the Garden of Eden like could kind of like symbolize like them like kind of falling from like their innocence in a way um yet again this is just the literary <laughs> person in me kind of like analyzing it but I just think the concept of it is really cool and like you could look into it and analyze it from like different ways of like the fall from their innocence like them being tricked like them learning more about the world by gaining wisdom like there's so many different ways in which you can interpret it the apple alone I won't get into this but the apple alone can signify so many different types of things um but I think it's really interesting concept that they chose for the music video so I really just wanted to touch upon that because I thought it was really cool if you have any interpretations of it that you want to share down in the comments below please do because I would love to read them I love analyzing music videos that have like storylines like this more in depth and so I would love to be able to discuss it with you guys in the comments but overall I really enjoyed it. I thought they all sounded good. They all looked good. I'm super excited to add this to my summer playlist. Um, they K-pop music has like such a good way of like just nailing that summer vibe and I think that this will be perfect for my summer playlist. So I'm excited for that but I will leave a link in the description below if you guys want to check out the music video for yourself. And don't forget to comment if you have anything else that you want me to react to or just if you want to tell me maybe who's your favorite TWICE member or if you liked the song or if you yet again have any interpretations on the music video you want to share. Don't forget to like and subscribe and to hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I do other K-pop reaction videos or if you want to check out my new series Otomania about anything and everything Otome that is it for this video and I hope you all enjoy and you all have a wonderful day. Love you. Bye.